blessings to you child of god blessings to you family welcome back to this prophetic session this is god's word with lady risa i welcome you all in the name of our lord jesus christ if you're coming back thank you for always coming back and if this is your first time please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more uploads hallelujah thank you so much for your donations god bless you for your seeds i pray for you that god will increase you God will increase your harvest. God will increase you. Anything you are trusting God for, it is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are connecting for, God will show up for you mightily in the name of Jesus. You will be the next in line to testify in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a prophetic word. Before I share this word, please let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this session. Thank you for everyone watching me now. Father, let your spirit take over. Even as I speak your word, O oh, oh Lord, let it come out with the power to change, with the power to manifest mightily in the lives of the people that are listening to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me this quick prophetic word that I want to share with you. He says they are going to come back to the place where they left you but they will not see you there they are going to come back to the place where they abandoned you but they will not see you there they left you at a certain position and your life was looking so miserable and frustrated and they are feeling like that's the end of you when they are going to come back but they will not see you there because god is racing you god is changing your story in the name of jesus christ they left you at a certain class in life class one by the time they are coming back you'll be at class seven you'll be in a different level altogether. when i received this prophetic word i remembered the story of jacob and esau when Jacob cheated his brother and ran away, the Bible says after many years, he decided to come back. When he was coming back, he sent gifts for his brother. In his mind, he thought his brother was still at that place where he was still begging. No, he didn't have much because God had blessed him. God had, ble God had blessed Jacob. So Jacob was feeling like he's coming to meet his brother and maybe his brother doesn't have anything. His brother is still hunting, you know, struggling to survive. But the Bible says his brother rejected his gifts and told him, I have enough. I have enough. That will be your testimony. That will be your testimony. They left you because they felt like nothing good was going to come out of your life. But you have been trusting God and you've been putting your hope in him. God says those people are going to come back. They will see you better, bigger and greater in the name of Jesus Christ. They left you in that relationship. They are going to come back for you. But they will not be able to get you because you are already bigger than them. You're already in a different level altogether. They sacked you from that job. They will come back for you. But they are going to meet you better. They're going to try to apologize and beg you to come back. But you will already be in a better state. And you would not want to go back to that level. They left you feeling like you're not going to make it. God will shock them with your story. God will shock them with your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will shock them with your story. He will shock them with your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who left Esther when she was a commoner, coming back to her, they're going to meet her as a queen. That's the same story that is happening to somebody. The Lord laid in my heart. They've left you now. You're feeling bad. You're feeling down. Those same people are going to come back. When they come back, you'll be better. You'll be greater. You'll be bigger. God will shock them with your story. God will shock them with your story. This will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, I'm going to do a prayer of salvation. And I'm going to do this every time I'm doing a video. If you want to give your life to Christ, or you feel like you've been close to the Lord, but for, for some reason, you're no longer close to the Lord. You, you, something, one or two things happened, and you're no longer close to the Lord. Each time I do a video now, I'm going to give a prayer of salvation. You can dedicate yourself to the Lord. You can give your life to Christ, or you can rededicate your life to the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So let us pray. If you want to give your life to Christ, just repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I confess that I am a sinner. I have sinned. Lord, please forgive me. Remove my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. Make me a new person. Lord, I accept you today into my life as my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. Congratulations to you if you just made that prayer. You are now born again. Please write me a message. Send me a Gmail. I want to help you in your Christian work with God. I want to help you know more about God and help you grow in your Christian work with God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for this session. We give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you his peace. Shalom.